Okay. Today we're going to be working on this 2015 Ram 1500 that my girlfriend owns. Um, it needs a new oil cooler because it's got an oil cooler leak and then it's got at least one bad rocker. Um, you can tell by the ticking sound. I'll have her start it in a second and then you can hear it. I believe it's from this passenger side but you can hear it for yourself. All right, start it. Quick disclaimer, this video is only gonna be about the oil cooler. Um, I'll link two videos of a really good uh, explanation of how to do the rocker arm fix and camshaft, um, but this video is just gonna be the oil cooler. We did end up fixing it, but I didn't get enough video of it. Sorry. All right, we're back with the truck running. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear the difference, but I'll get to it close. The picking on this side. We're pretty confident it's one of the rocker arms, but we'll see once we get in there. On this side, it's much more quiet. First, we're going to disconnect the battery, take this off. You just need to take one side off just to disconnect it if we can get it off here. So take this top upper air intake off. This thing was in here, it's just a couple hose clamps. And then if you come around, around here, we unplug this little connector. And then there's another hose clamp way down in here. And that's all it's holding this big piece on. Now it pops right off. And there's also this connector back here we're gonna have to take off. And I should get this off. Alright, so now we're going to take off everything we need to take off to get this upper intake off. There's a couple hoses, and then there's a bunch of these 8mm uh, bolts, and then I know there's some 10s on the side. Um, we'll come back when we get it off and tell you what problems we had. Alright, so there's two 10mm bolts way back in here. My fingers on them right now. Um, it's a bracket that holds the upper and lower intakes together. So you got to take those off along with all these bolts to get this off. So um, I ended up having to take the throttle body off to get the bottom bolts of this little plate to come off. This plate goes over these holes. And I wasn't able to slide it out without it. There's that plate in the back. I did end up just taking only the top two off. Because then I was able to pick up the whole thing. It's just bolted down with all those 8 millimeter bolts on this side. And I'm able to lift it up. Uh, there's a hose. And there's a couple wires that I'm going to have to unplug. But other than that, the top intake is free. Now that, you, now that we got it out, you can see what we were actually doing. There's all these are 8 millimeter bolts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then... Seven's way in the back. I just had to kind of feel for this one. I could not see it with it in the truck. And I took these two hoses off. I ended up taking the throttle body off. And then these are the two. These had a nut on them. Another hose. This connector. And then these two. And these four were all 10 millimeters. The rest were eight. Even the throttle body was eight. But these four posts had 10 millimeter nuts on them. I just said power. Yeah. Okay. So I got this upper intake off. It was all these eight millimeter bolts all the way around. Um, and I don't want to take it all the way out because the fuel rail is still attached. You don't have to take this apart. So I just got to lift it up and bungee on here just to get it out of the way. And this is the oil cooler. So what you're trying to get to. It's got five E8 bolts. It's kind of an odd size E8 and then there's a couple connections back there so we'll rip this out and then show you what it looks like under it all right so we finally got the oil cooler cooler out of here there's this connector which is you just press this black tab that's on top of it to get it out this guy was a pain uh you pull on it and then also press this tab and then this hose 
and those five bolts and then it pops out. So now we're going to come in here and clean up as good as we can and start putting it back together. Alright, we got it all cleaned out for the most part. Um, see, it's a lot cleaner. And then on the new one, you can see the connectors we were talking about. Top, back, and that hose. And then these are all the intake and outtake ports. You can see where they go to down there. And those are the five bolt holes. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so now we got the gas, uh, the lower intake laid back down. We ended up changing the gaskets. You don't have to, but you got a kit. We're doing, um, got to take the valve cover off anyway. So we got valve cover gaskets and they came as a kit. So now we're just going to tighten all these eight millimeter bolts back down. And then that'll be back down. And that's where we'll stop and we'll start working on the tick. That'll be the end of the video. I'll link the oil cooler we got. Um, it was just from Amazon. Uh, and then two videos. It's a two-part series on how to fix the ticking sound or replace the rocker and camshaft. And I'll also link the video that I watched to learn how to do the oil cooler. If you made it this far, thanks for watching.